Hello everyone, welcome again to another review. In this case, we will be considering the Victorinox Swiss tool. If you like my videos, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. This will help me a lot. In previous videos, I already reviewed the Swiss Champ and the Mini Champ, so I will be comparing some of the tools of this one to this tool. So let's get on with it. As always, I will start with some technical specs then I will review each tool of this uh, multi-tool and then you can uh, see how it looks like and how they work and also I'm going to talk about the design flows of this tool, the price and also arrive to a conclusion. So let's start then with the technical specifications. So let's begin then with the technical specs. Uh, as you can see this is a bit worn out because I have this tool for around five years already and it's not been every day with me but uh, every time that I go with the bike or every time that I go with the car or when I go hiking for sure I keep this in my backpack and yeah it's been uh, used and it's been proved as well in these five years but let's see how much this one weighs so let me put this again in grams 345 grams and the tool itself, it's around, let me see, 211 grams. So, let's see also these dimensions from the outside, from the whole package, let's say. We have around 11 centimeters, more or less, when you see it properly, without the parallax error. And this width is around 3.5 centimeters. And here is a bit thicker, around four centimeters. So uh, yeah, as you can see, the material is fabric, but it's been here a bit worn out. As I said, it has five years and it worked every time. Here on the inside, this Velcro still works really fine. You can see, grabs my gloves. This is the number, maybe you want to uh, see something similar for this pouch. And here we have the tool inside. Then you have also the corkscrew with the screwdriver on the top. A similar design that is also in the Swiss Champ. And then here you have a set of screwdrivers, which you can use either here or here. We can see this later. There is no problem for this. So let's start then with the main tool because we have a lot to discuss and I will give you some um, Measurements because this is asymmetrical as you can see this is wider on the top or in this part So let me see how much this is We have around Three and a half centimeters is the widest part and here on top we have three centimeters So it is quite uh, Thick I would say but it is not so bad and from the thickness point of view we have 1,3 uh, centimeters more or less. So it's uh, basically compact for everything that it offers. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through every tool that you see here. I'm going to pick a side and then we're going to go all the way down, then all the way down onto this side. And also we're going to see the pliers. One thing I would like to show you before I actually go into the tools of this one is to compare it to the Swiss Champ. As you can see from the size point of view, they are more or less the same. The Swiss tool is a bit higher in this case, but from the front, I'll put it like this, hope that you can see, the Swiss tool is thinner. Maybe I put it side by side, you can also tell. So uh, if you want to know more about the Swiss Champ, regarding the size regarding the weight and everything else all the tools please don't forget to check my review as well but let's begin with the swiss tool one thing as you can see you can access every tool from the outside this is something really practical because there are multi tools which yeah they have this format but in order to access to the tools you have to open it more or less and then pull this out something like the leatherman for example in this case you have all the tools you can use it from the outside which is really practical so let's begin then 
here on the top and by the way i cleaned it but not so much as you also can see uh, how it looks like after yeah five years you can see it's uh, also hard to pick for the camera because it's really reflecting and you can see little marks of use so even after so long time there is no sign of rust whatsoever there you can see better some little scratches that happen because of the use the same with the blade as you can see it can be a bit scratched this is just a bit dirty here on top but this is how it looks like uh, especially because there is a version of this tool which is uh, black so maybe you want to get that one but i consider this uh, this one is really good as it is so regarding the knife what can i say let's see some measurements this is a really controversial knife because of the shape and this is the so-called butter knife so you have six centimeters for the edge more or less and then you have here on top the width of around 1.2 centimeters this is chiseled as well as you can see this surface versus this one and this one has the disadvantage let's say that this uh, edge is not straight so when you want to file it to sharp it again it's going to be really complicated in comparison to the traditional victorian ox knife which is this one from side from size you can see they are more or less the same but yes if you want to sharp a knife for sure it is uh, easier with this one here but i will show you a video now so you can see how this one works in the woods this one i never used this is the first time i'm going to use it so i'm going to damage a bit the blade but i want to show you how it cuts this one was used enough as i said this tool i have for many years so let's compare it something to be really careful this locks so it's perfect this one doesn't so if you are not working properly you're going to have cut fingers and this is really really sharp i don't recommend you to uh, touch it if you don't need to so let's try here let's see how it digs into the wood again i'm locking it here so i don't hurt myself you can see no problem i'm doing barely any force and if you work like that you can also work let me do a shave shaving you can do really thin ones like flakes for your breakfast <laughs> so yeah not a problem totally fine uh, but I'm going to do a bit more force. Feels nice. Feels secure in the hand. I don't feel like I'm going to sleep. Yeah, totally perfect. I will try now this side with the other one. Let me put it away. And then this one. Let's see here. Again, let's start uh, small and control. Oh, this is like so sharp. Of course, I never used this blade, so you can see I'm doing no force at all. This is like touching it. Yeah. And now if I try to do these flakes, for sure I won't have perfect ones here. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I'll try to catch one before it falls. Oh. Look at that, it's like a leaf, really, really small. Again, trying to use it without a force, basically, without doing force. So now a bit more force, see how it digs. I'm a bit scared, to be honest, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will. Yeah, it digs, it's not so easy as the other one, funny enough. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm too careful. Let me grab the other one and make a side by side test. So, okay. Now this one. 
yeah both of them are really good um, of course this one I'm a bit more careful because I'm afraid that I make it, uh, I'm making a lot of force like this and when I want to come back perhaps I hit this plate like that and then I cut my finger so with this one I'm af not afraid that I can do this and then even if I hit this one I'm in a in automatic motion like that I'm not afraid that I will come back and cut my fingers one negative point about this blade though is that as you can see the this edge as I said is chiseled so this one you don't have it well this one is not chiseled so this one the Swiss champ is really easier to repair in case it is damaged and this one you have also these groups that will make it harder so I am um, I don't know I guess it's better to have a separate knife <laughs> all things considered and you can see uh, this is also thicker the one from the Swiss tool but yeah I would say it's better to have a separate knife these are good to help you out but I won't rely 100% if anything this is more secure to work on than this one so I hope you can see how it works with woods but I have some here typical cardboard really stiff one by the way and it's also thick let me see how thick it is sorry for the sound it's around well, we have four millimeters thick and let's see how it goes through of course in this direction it's going to be easier and I'm barely doing any force and from this direction so against this I'm going to go like this as well like that and it really grips <laughs> I am not I'm basically pulling the cardboard up against my my knife you can see really sharp cut no problem whatsoever I can also do it again like this or like this no problem whatsoever here I have a zip tie so normal zip tie normal quality I suppose so I will try to do it like this because then you can see how it grips or not let me try to bend it then there it's really uh, tricky with these gloves because they slide a bit but i had to go through this like that so no problem whatsoever with this knife as i said i used it since five years and the problem is like it's really hard to sharpen it sharpen it because of this uh, funny shape here on top other than this it worked wonderfully so uh, the ideal Swiss tool would have the traditional um, knife from the Swiss chap, for example. This is something that I think could be done better. But of course, something that the Swiss tool has for all the tools is that you can block it, as you can see here. Then I have no problem and I can put a lot of pressure against it and it will not uh, cut me back. So it will not bend to cut me. So this is really nice. And the way that it works, to undo it, you just grab it, of course, in the side of the tool. Then you pull in that direction. And then you can release it. Then again, pull, and then ready. So that's the knife, and let's proceed to the next one. So let's continue then with the next tool that goes here after the knife. And as you can see, this is the mixture of things you have a chisel you have here the chisel continuous in this shape that is like here on the top you have still a bit on this side it's sharp then you have this at the bottom which is a yeah you can use this to uh, cut the insulation of cables that's how it's thought anyways and let me show you the dimension so you have an idea how big it is so you have around four centimeters length and the width is around 1,2 centimeters, 1,4 in the widest part here at the bottom. The good thing is like this tool is also uh, thick. You have around one and a half or one millimeter, a bit more than one millimeter. So it's really hefty 
And as you can see, how is the proportion of this tool in comparison to the whole thing. And you can see that it's relatively big. And this works really well. I'll show you again a video in the woods doing uh, with the chisel some work in the wood. And then I'll come back to show you these two at the bottom. And you can see the size is kind of twice. So um, again, this, ouch, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> this doesn't lock. So you should be careful. I almost cut myself there. Um, so yeah, let's try in this improvised setup here. And I will try to show you how well it digs or, or it doesn't. Yes, it does here. Perhaps this is not any kind of job that you will do, but here you can see how it goes through the wood. It's no problem. And it's also really controlled because of the position that I have. Now let me try again with the uh, Swiss uh, champ. This one, I could use it like this too, but it's so tricky. And then again it closes, so the best way is like this. And of course you should be careful because if you sleep, then you're going to hit with your fist. And it's not going to be nice for your knuckles. <laughs> so here, let's see, try to be control. It digs uh, more than the other one. Then again, this is also uh, a new uh, knife that I have, a new uh, Swiss champ. So for sure it will be sharper. But as you can see, I'm having problems with my fist that is going to uh, hurt here. And I don't have so much depth and I have to find my way around to, to dig this if I have to work. So for sure, this one is more comfy. I cannot be so sharp because I have this tool for more than three years now and this is uh, relatively new, I never used this. So you can see also the sharpness difference, but this is still manageable and useful. It's okay, so you saw how this could work. Now for this one at the bottom, I don't have a cable here with me. Um, I will just use as an example only, but of course I hope I don't cut it. But you have a cable and then you put it like that and then you can pull and you will remove the insulation of cables. That's the idea. And this is when you have, of course, smaller cables, you can do the same. And again, with a Victorinox, everything is up to your imagination. But what I like about this one is like, you can use this to uh, cut through things and not uh, ruining your knife. So for example, again, with the cardboard, just to show you what I mean, you can uh, grab it like that, and then you can just go through it, make it force, and also you have uh, not a lot of momentum against you. So you can have a really good control with your tool. And then that's it. This is uh, a really second use, let's say, that you have with these tools. And as it is really robust, then you can have a lot of force and to pry open something you can also use this yeah to pry open something or to also cut through something that is relatively thick and needs to be done a lot of force so it's really useful and i think this one in particular is open to your imagination and how you plan to use it here you have a screwdriver i think victorinox includes screwdrivers in everything they do uh, or in most of the products, which I believe is great because they have really good screwdrivers. They work in their shape usually well, but you have also a bottle opener and here again the uh, wire bender that you have here at the top. And just to give you an idea, this is the Swiss Champ. And you can see how much reach you have with the Swiss tool versus the Swiss Champ. But the shape of the bottle opener and the wire bender is more or less the same. Perhaps the Swiss tool has a wider wire bender. So let me see the dimensions. So you have also an idea. You have around 4,3 centimeters, which is useful. Let's say from this side. And you have a width here, maximum of 1,5 centimeters. So if you want to go through a cavity, let's say, and you want to screw something, this for sure will disturb you a bit it would be better if you didn't have this but yeah this is 
at least better than this one because here you have a huge chunk of thing to uh, maneuver and to rotate you don't have to forget this you have uh, around three centimeters to rotate so you have to have free space on the top at the bottom to the left and to the right side to be able to maneuver and in this one what you can do is as you can see the size and the profile of this tool what you can also do is you can open you can see this also it doesn't lock because you can always uh, yeah move it but it is kind of hard to do that you see at least it gives you the opportunity to grab it like that and then you can screw on the top and then you have a really long reach and you don't need to turn so much at least in the critical area that you want to uh, unscrew or screw something you only need around one and a half centimeter to rotate versus this which you need to rotate <laughs> this huge thing so i believe this is really practical and i've used it a lot uh, the wire vendor is also uh, interesting uh, i have here a piece of uh, wire but it is not uh, the normal wire because this is a bit elastic but just to show you more or less what i'm doing with my hands trying to undo if i wanted to bend it i would do this with my fingernails let's say and then damage my fingers because of the pressure of the wire of course we are speaking from a thicker wire that you could use but the way that you do with this one you put it like that and then you bend it as i said this is a really um, hard uh, wire is keeping the shape a lot because it's elastic but uh, you should be able to put it like this and then bend the wire something like that and then you have your wire bent uh, as i said this would work better with something that is not so elastic this is something like a keychain <laughs> so i grabbed this for another use uh, for a use the pliers that i will show you later but i thought this would represent and really well what i want to show you and yes so this is how it works you can see it's really beefy <laughs> i think it is one of the beefiest you have two a bit more than two and a half millimeters it's really thick yes two and a half millimeters and you can compare <laughs> this is like a like a little toy the swiss champ in comparison i'm sorry i cannot put it closer maybe from the top like this yeah there you can see better the difference in size is crazy so then again you can use this also as a prying tool because it's really beefy and you can get to apply a lot of force with this tool really nice and really useful as well so for the next tool i want to show you this punch and as you can see it also has a hook here included maybe i should show you also the dimensions so you have an idea you have around 3,7 3,8 sorry there centimeters that's a useful thing but the edge of this hook uh, sorry of this punch is two and a half and then this hook is really close to the body of the tool so then you have around five millimeters free space to hook something in and this is to have a comparison with the swiss champ more or less like this better like that that's smarter so for sure the one of the swiss tool is bigger and the only difference is that this one has a hole there so you can sew things but this one does not and both of them work really well i'll show you here again a video in the woods to see uh, so you can see how it works so um what i want to show you here is if you want to dig a hole in the wood how easy it is i'm applying almost no force basically just just a bit and you can see that i'm going with a problem okay that's so deep i'm gonna try to clean it a bit you can see the hole over there really clean let me try to do the same with the swiss champ again um, um it's hard to 
grab this if I want to grab it like this then I have the problem that this fold <laughs> uh, falls back so it's not so nice so I have to grab it like that um, it's a bit uncomfy because I want to show you in the camera but my full grip would be like this and again you have to have some sympathy for your fingers uh, but when I do this let me see more or less that a bit more perhaps here I have to do a bit more force because of the position of the tool and the result you know it's also okay I would say this one is cleaner but could be the wood too let's just uh, show you how it is uh, it is to dig through things you know from the uh, if I had to choose one I would choose the this one from the Swiss tool of course because it is easier in this position you have more grip like that and you could do more force and if it is not enough you can also do it like that so then you have a thinner grip to uh, work and this one yes you're limited and then also when it bends back then you're a bit complicated to work on okay so i hope you could see the difference and let's compare the hooks this part that was missing they're more or less the same size and they work together as well but the only difference of course is that this one again blocks while this one does not so this one can go there while this one can withstand movement i don't know how would you would use this um, hook to be honest you can have some grip and this like this and you can pull but maybe if you open it then you can put your finger there and then you can pull better depends how much space you have here at the back so it's useful but this hook in particular i don't know how useful it can be then again your imagination is the one dictating how useful this tool is overall let's continue then with the wood so as you can see it's uh <laughs> this tool is really complete you have so many things here this one has around 6.5 centimeters length and here at the bottom you have one centimeter thickness but here at the tip can be so thin as six millimeters in comparison to the swiss tool one you have here at the bottom one centimeter and here also around six or five millimeters but in between let me put it like that so you can see the swiss tool is a uh, thinner in between well this one is a bit thicker or wider better said regarding the teeth i would say they are more or less the same there's no difference in design regarding the thickness the swiss tool is for sure thicker you can see there and this of course has an advantage and a disadvantage the advantage is that it will not bend and break and the disadvantage is of course when you're cutting through wood then you have to go like one millimeter in width will be your a uh, cut well this one as you can see how sharp it is is grabbing my glove like that this one can bend as you can see so you have more flexibility so if you are having cutting something then this make a lot of pressure then maybe uh, yeah you can break it let's say if you're doing this too much but the advantage is that as it is thin then you can go really fast through things and i will give you a video now so you can see how they perform in reality one thing though is that i have this tool for many um, years five years and in occasions i have used this uh, sharp so uh, so take that into consideration because this is really brand new so uh, I will cut first this log, which has around um, yeah, three centimeters diameter. And I will cut it first with this one, with the Swiss tool. And then I will do it with the Swiss uh, champ. So.
Okay, as you can see, after a while, um, I'll tell you the time down there uh, when uh, how much it took me to cut this. But you can see it is a very clean cut, and I guess it also depends how well your setup is. So here I don't have no support, so I'm holding it with my hand, so it's quite tricky. But if you are cutting a tree directly from the branch, for sure it will be easier to apply more force into the tool. So that was with this one, and then I will try with the other one. But as you can see, there a really precise cut. Okay, now I'm going to try the same with the Swiss champ. Again, this time I had to be careful because this can bend and cut me, especially when I'm cutting this uh, around three centimeters uh, diameter. Okay, that went relatively fast, again, a really clean cut, as you can see, even better than the other one, I must say that's, that uh, this um, Swiss champ is uh, totally new, so I didn't use this before, while the other one I already used. But uh, you can see also the difference in size regarding the thickness uh, or the, how wide they are and also from this point of view you see that this one is thicker than this so surprisingly this cut better than the Swiss tool.